Our New Testament reading for this morning comes to us from the Gospel according to Mark. It is, as Emily shared with the children, the story of the feeding of the 5,000. However, in Mark's particular version, there is no little boy. You'll hear the difference. There's still the loaves and fishes, but there's no little boy. Um, So let's listen for Mark's story of uh, Jesus' feeding of the 5,000. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. Jesus said to them, come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them. And they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As Jesus went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When it grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place and the hour is now very late. Send them away so that they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy something for themselves to eat. But Jesus answered them, You give them something to eat. They said to Jesus, Are we to go and buy 200 denarii worth of bread and give it to them to eat? And Jesus said to them, how many loaves have you? Go and see. When they had found out, they said, five and two fish. Then Jesus ordered them to get all the people to sit down in groups on the green grass So they sat down in groups of hundreds and of fifties, taking the five loaves and two fish. He looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. And he divided the two fish among them all. And all ate and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of broken pieces and of fish. Those who had eaten the loaves numbered 5,000 men. Friends, here ends the readings from God's holy word for this morning. May God add a blessing to our hearing and understanding of God's word. 